If I Had a Gryphon Written by Vicki Van Sickle Illustrated by Kale Atkinson Last week I got a hamster My first and only pet He mostly eats and sleeps and hides And gets his shavings wet If only I could have a pet with strange exotic powers I know that I'd find lots to do to while away the hours. If I had a unicorn, I'd braid her silky mane. I'd make her silver horseshoes that tinkled in the rain. We'd prance through fields of poises and nibble nectarines. I'd shine her horn with candy corn to get a starry sheen. Unicorns are pretty, but they're also very shy. On second thought, I'd like to give a hippogriff a try. A hippogriff needs lots to do, like run and jump and fetch. I'd take him to the dog park to give his wings a stretch. Though a hippogriff is tons of fun, the dogs might find him scary. And when it comes to playing ball, well, things could get quite hairy. Perhaps I'll get a Sasquatch with burly curly fur. But then I'd spend three hours a day attacking snarls and birds. If I had a gryphon, I'd love each flashing feather. But she needs flying every day, regardless of the weather. If I had a kraken, we'd swim in deep sea dive. But I would need a scuba suit in order to survive. If I had a dragon with a temperamental snout, I need a fire extinguisher to put her sneezes out. Kieran needs a field of grass, at least an ocean wide. Jackalope needs sturdy reins for bumpy, jumpy rides. Phoenix needs a chimney nest that smokes and fireproof. Manticore needs a special floss for each and every tooth. Harpies are too screechy. Chupacabras like to bite. Fairies play too many tricks and Kelpies hate the light. Basilix is slippery. Chimera likes to scratch. Mermaids brush their hair all day and spirits are hard to catch. Perhaps a hamster's not so bad. In fact, he's rather sweet. I love his furry belly and his teeny tiny feet. He may not be a griffin or a creature from the sea, but I am his and he is mine and that's enough for me.